Hello everyone, welcome back to another election prediction. This time we're covering the 2024 gubernatorial or governor map prediction. So, uh, yeah, it's like a pretty easy one. Honestly, like a lot of states probably aren't going to flip. There's only going to be like pretty much a handful out of these 11 states that are actually going to be competitive. But let's go through some of the easier ones to rank. So if you look at the uh, 2024 gubernatorial elections, the dark red states are the ones that have the term limit or retiring Republicans and the same for the Democrats. So <clears throat> let's just begin with the more safer states. So Utah, North Dakota, again, they're really not going to be competitive. There's Indiana. West Virginia is only competitive if Joe Manchin runs for this. Then I could actually see it going Democratic because, again, governor races, they're a lot more... Let, they're not as partisan as Senate or House races. So that's why I would flip it to lean blue if Manchin runs. But right now, I don't think he's going to run. I mean, let's see if he already shot that down, if we just check the primary. Oh, he did decline. He did rule out running for West Virginia governor. Okay. So that means West Virginia is definitely safe Republican. Uh, Missouri is another one of those states. Montana, Gianforte, he's extremely likely to run on the Democratic side. You really don't have anyone that's actually going to make you competitive. So again, that would just make Montana safe Republican for now. So, the next few states are me going through here. Delaware, again, it's probably going to be safe Democratic just to start out with. Let's go over to, uh, let's see, Vermont and New Hampshire. So both of these states... They're really only competitive if the current Republican governors decide not to run. Then there, I could see them being as like probably safe Democratic flip in Vermont and like probably a lean blue state in New Hampshire because again, it's a lot more not as partisan as Vermont is. But for now, I expect both governors here to run for re-election. So safe Republican ratings in both of these states uh, for Washington and North Carolina. In Washington, it's pretty much going to be safe Democratic. With the presidential-level turnout, it'll just boost Democrats' odds here. The real state to watch out of all these governor races is North Carolina. You have Mark Robinson running here, who really reminds me of, like, Kerry Lake in the way that they're pretty extreme. They have a lot of uh, bad policy positions that wouldn't really work well with independent voters. So again, the most likely candidate is Mark Robinson, even though it shows him in the lead by, like, a a point or two against the most likely candidate in, uh, let's see who's run for the Democrats. I think his name is Josh Stein, yeah, the Attorney General. I really think Josh Stein's still going to edge him out. I think it's going to be exactly like what we saw with Kerry Lake in Arizona. Extreme candidates don't work for a more typical swing state, so I'm going to have to give this narrowly to the Democrats, and really nothing really changes on the gubernatorial level in 2024 so far. But I'll see you guys in the next video.